All right. Uh, hello. Good morning. Um, what I'm hoping to demonstrate today is a simple way to use some of the translation tools embedded in Word so you don't have to go back and forth between Word and Google Translate if you're doing a language lesson. Uh, for the purposes of uh, my video today, I am focused on translating from English to Mandarin. So I've got my Word document opened, and I'm just going to type in a simple English sen sentence. Uh, the weather today is very cold. Okay, I'm going to take this sentence, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to go over to my Review tab, click Review, and click Translate. And I'm going to translate the selection. You can translate an entire document. Um, I'm just going to translate a section of this right here. Give it a minute to work. And the simplified, Chinese simplified um, translation comes up. And I'm going to copy it and paste it in right here. I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger so it's easier for both of us to see. If I go to my home button, um, my preferred font for um, Mandarin Hanzi is Yo Yuan. I think it's clean. The lines are easy to read. If I put this at like a 22 font, it's easy for me to read. I'll go 24 just to make sure you can see it too. Um, Jin Tian De Tian Shi Hen Long. Okay, I'm always I'm always a little uh, hesitant because I don't know if the translation how accurate the translations are. Um, that looks pretty good. I don't know if I would have used Duh, but we'll we'll stick with it. I make enough mistakes on Duh. I'm not teasing anybody. Um, the other really cool thing that right within Word though is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this text. I'm going to go back to my review tab, or excuse me, I'm going to stay on my home tab, and I'm going to go to my phonetic guide. It's right up here. It's this little icon. It'll pop up phonetic guide. I'm going to click on that. And I thought this was really neat. It will paste in um, the pinion right above it, and I'm going to do the pinion just a little bit smaller. Click OK. It's set to Yo Yuan, size 11, centered. And I'll click OK, and it inserts the pinion right on top of the text, and it lines it up, which I just think is a is a gift for someone that's HSK level one like me. So anyway, there's a there's a couple of uh, tools that can help uh, both teachers and learners as we uh, as we go down this road. Lou, okay, have a good day. Being silly.